so cute. We love it. Well, Zach talked a big game about these next highlights, so get let's get right into them. Booker's going to be in McLean, and we're going to go to this one. Look at the flags. But the last play before the half, McLean's Wyatt Higgler looking for a man, throws it, but is picked by Booker's Julian Barton. He's going to run it down the field. No one can catch him. Touchdown, Booker, 24-52, Booker in the lead. Next, halftime's over, and after another turnover, the Kiowas have the ball. Chase Nelson of Booker looking for a pass, but realizes Adrian Rosales is wide open. He's going to run it down for another touchdown for Booker. Booker got just shy of 100. They're going to get the win, 92-49. to Wow, 92 is very impressive. Let's see if the Silverton Owls at home for the first time hosting the Northside Indians can even get close to that. The Owls strike first. Zayden Ortiz tosses it to Jace Alvarado. And he's going to bulldoze his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Silverton. The Indians respond quickly. Quarterback Tucker Taylor reverses it to Rance Teague. Gets a nice block from Taylor. And look out, coming right at the camera. But Teague is going to find his way into the end zone. Instead, the Indians sneak a road win, 32-31. to Let's go back to Miami now. There's the crowd in a second. They're ready to cheer on the Miami Warriors. Miami has the ball. Jack Katora tosses the ball to Noah Homefield. He finds a hole and picks it down the field for a huge gain and the touchdown for Miami. It's 12-0 now. Moving on now to the second quarter, we're going to have that dynamic duo back again. Katora and Homefield are back at it again with that same handoff. Same results, touchdown Warriors. Miami will have 50 unanswered points in this one. In the town that's never sad, Happy Cowboys taking on the Whiteface Antelopes, looking for their second win of the year. Whiteface with the first possession, it's Alex Salas with the handoff to Ethan Kaufman, and the Cowboys can't get him down. He's gonna take this one 60 to the big house, and the Antelopes are up eight to zero. Happy down 16-8, Hayes Bressler buying some time, finds a man, and it's Braylon King into the end zone. But the Cowboys wouldn't be happy tonight. They lose this one 58 to 38. And San Jacinto at the Lubbock Titans. They're going to be in Lubbock for this one in the second. San Jack going for the punt, but the snap gets away and it's bobbled. That's until the Titans' Blaine Shannon picks it up and falls into the end zone for the touchdown. We've got a tie game, 13-13. Taylor Swift's number winding down in the second. Hunter Spencer keeps the hope alive, cuts towards the sideline, and he's going to go in for six, bringing it back to a one-point game, Sanjak up 2019. Titans gonna take this one though, 37 to 33. And White Deer was at LaFour's last night. Joe Johnson feeling some pressure. Ball's tipped by his teammate and Caden Maynard's gonna run it back. And here's Johnson on defense and he's gonna sack it. And that's a fumble and he recovers it. He can do both, offense and defense. Pirates down, looking down the field that is. Johnson flips it to Chase Cook. He's cooking, searching for anyone in orange and Aiden Coombs. Both feet in the end zone. That is another touchdown. White Deer kicks the door open, and they win it 76 to 36. We'll toss it over to Preston on our very own touch board. We do have a very own touch board, and we got some scores on it. Not this one, though. Valley and Gordon, they're playing tomorrow. But we've got more scores here. Claude taking on Petersburg. They win that one 30 to 26. Headley and Groom, a shutout win for the Tigers. Groom taking it 51 0. And then Follett and Benjamin. And when Zach's talking about impressive 6 8, he's talking about 75 points on the board right there for just one team, 41 for the other. That is a high scoring game. Benjamin takes the win in that one. Looking at some other games, Nazareth and Borden County. Nazareth picks up the win by 10 right there. Bernalillo taking on Portellis. They win by just a touchdown. And that is a 14 7 ball game. Let's take a look into New Mexico. More New Mexico at that. Clayton and Tatum. Clayton picks up a big win, 54 to 42. And then Texaco and Farwell. We had that one earlier. We'll just have it again. Texaco picks up the win right there. We'll go down, down, down. Looking at some more scores right here. Shattuck taking on Beaver. They pick up the win at home. Hooker picks up a big win at home as well, 70 to 19. Turpin winning 58 to 20. And then Pachia taking a loss against Chillicothe, 55 to 31. We'll have more wrap up right for you after this break. 